Hey everyone, it's Miss Melanie. I'm going to read a story called Drum Dream Girl. How one girl's courage changed music. What's interesting about this book is it's inspired by the real girl, Neil, a Chinese African Cuban girl. Yeah. At age 10, there she is right there. She um, joined her older sisters in Cuba's first all girl dance band. And she became a famous musician. And she even got to play for the president of the United States at the time, Franklin D. Roosevelt. Yeah. So it's because because of her courage that there are many female drummers in Cuba now. Drum Dream Girl. This is by Margarita Engel, and the illustrations are by Rafael Lopez. On an island of music, in a city of drum beats, the drum dream girl dreamed of pounding tall Congo drums, tapping small bongo drums, and boom, boom, booming <laughs> with long, loud sticks on big, round, silvery, moon bright timbales. But everyone on the island of music in the city of drum beats believed that only boys should play drums. So the drum dream girl had to keep dreaming quiet, secret drum beat dreams. At outdoor cafes that looked like gardens, she heard drums played by men, but when she closed her eyes, she could hear her own imaginary music. When she walked under wind wavy palm trees in a flower bright park, she heard the whir of parrot wings and the clack of woodpecker beaks. She, the dancing tap of her own footsteps and the comforting pat of her own heartbeat. At carnivals, she listened to the rattling beat of towering dancers on stilts, and the dragon clang of costumed drummers wearing huge masks. At home, her fingertips rolled out their own dreamy drum rhythm on tables and chairs. And even though everyone kept reminding her that girls on the island of music had never played drums, the brave drum dream girl dared to play tall Congo drums, small bongo drums, and big, round, silvery, Moon bright timbales. Her hands seemed to fly as they rippled and wrapped and pounded all the rhythms of her drum dreams. Her big sisters were so excited that they invited her to join their all their new all girl dance band. But their father said, only boys should play the drums. So the drum dream girl had to keep dreaming and drumming alone until finally her father offered to find a music teacher who could decide if her drums deserved to be heard. The drum dream girl's teacher was amazed. The girl knew so much, but he taught her more and more and more. 
And she practiced and she practiced and she practiced until the teacher agreed she was ready to play her small bongo drums outdoors at a starlit cafe that looked like a garden where everyone who heard her dream bright music sang and danced and decided that girls should always be allowed to play the drums. And both girls and boys should feel free to dream. The end.